Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hudson Middle School soccer field today for a game against your Hudson Raiders and the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Uh, right now, the Raiders have an overall record of 9-3-1 and one on the season. Uh, ready to take on Chippewa Falls here. Center ref uh, is ready to go here. That's uh, Jennifer Yankovic. And off we go. Hudson Raiders start with a kickoff there. They send it back to the left B there. That's Ani Lewis. Ani can't control that ball. It goes out the touch line on the side. It'll be a throw in for the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Taking the throw is number 18, Isabel Spooner, defender for the Cardinals. Mackenzie Drace gets the ball temporarily, turns it over to Chippewa, goes back toward Taylor Brinkman there over her head. Brinkman touches it aside, and Karen Chuckle comes out to punt the ball away out of danger there for the Raiders. Emma Richert with the ball in the center midfield now, evading the Chippewa Falls players left and right, but gets dispossessed there. Staying with the attack. Emma trying to win the ball back, cannot do it. Chippewa gets the ball, sends it up to their forwards there. That's number nine, Sarah Oliver, one of the captains uh, for the Cardinals with the ball. Amanda Carey, senior number three. And offside is called there. Uh, Montana Hoder, number 18, starting the game as a forward for the Raiders. Free kick being taken by the Cardinals, number 14. That's Chazan Olson of the Cardinals. Amanda Carey with the ball on the right flank with the Raiders again. Evades one player, plays back to the right defender, Emma Olson. Emma gets it up toward Emma Richard in the center midfield position. Richard with the ball, trying to get it up to the top to Montana Hoder. Chippewa sends it to the middle. That's Chaz uh, Haley Soward uh, for the Cardinals with the ball temporarily. Marley Johnston, the young freshman, battling for the ball there. And number eight for Chippewa, Sydney Fashingbauer has the ball, trying to get it out to uh, Sarah Oliver, their captain there up on top. Bashing Bauer with the ball, sends it in. Oh, toward Carr and Chuckle, let that go all the way across the goal face. Chip will maintain, maintains possession there. Number 17, Hazel Bailing has the ball there on the top. Battling with her is Mackenzie Drace. Foul on that, I believe. I think it's going to be a free kick from that spot. Taking the free kick will be number 18, Isabel Spooner. Chips the ball, but goes to the side. Hits the, the uh, net web post there on the side there. Uh, poor effort for Chippewa Falls starting out this game on a free kick in the box area there. Karin Chuckle, the junior goalkeeper for the Hudson Raiders, is going to take this goal kick. Up and out along the left flank there, going towards Mackenzie Drace. Maddie Haynes hustles back to win that ball. Good job by Maddie Haynes. Sends it up top, trying to get it to Jordan Helterbrand coming through. Helterbrand wins that ball, battling two of the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Good job by Helterbrand battling for that ball. Ball goes out of bounds off of Chippewa Falls, number 14, Chaz Ann Olson. And that's going to be the first corner kick for the Hudson Raiders. Hudson Raiders doing very well on the year with uh, 104 corner kicks already, and they've uh, only given up 23 so far on the year. So a nice stat for the Hudson Raiders. Something coach uh, John Knutson works on heavily with them is uh, don't give up corners, but take as many as you can. Here's Emma Olson chipping it into the box area there. Amanda Carey gets the ball into open space. Carey fires the ball, and she scores off the right post and into the net. Beautiful. Uh, Combination there from Emma Richard on the corner to uh, number three, junior Amanda Carey, who scores three minutes and 46 seconds into the first half here. And Hudson has a 1-0 lead. That's a very fast, quick start for the Hudson Raiders. Uh, Coach Knutson loves it when the Raiders get off to a fast start, and they did today. Great goal by Carey where she manufactured a yard or two of space and fired a ball that hit the post and bounced into the center of the net there. And a beautiful job by Amanda Carey. Good ball by Emma Richards sent in to her. Marley Johnston in the midfield wins that ball back going against two uh, Cardinals there. Richard has the ball now. Gets dispossessed there. Oh, and she trips. That's going to be a foul and a free kick uh, for the Cardinals every time.
Setting up for the free kick, Andrea Sahaski. Number 19 for the Cardinals there. She takes the kick, sends it into the box area there. Chuckle gets a hand on it. Oh, it goes out of bounds. Mishandled by Chuckle. That one, uh, she's going to wish she had caught cleanly. She's going to give a corner up. Just, <laughs> just finished talking about the importance of corner kicks, and we gave them an easy one there. That was a... Uh, easy pickup for Chuckle. She'll make that stop uh, 99 and a half out of 100 times. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen on this time. Here's number eight, Sydney Fashingbauer, captain for the Cardinals, taking the kick, lost it to the top of the goal box. And Emma Richard clears the ball out. Well done, Richard. Jordan Heltebrand gets a touch. Chippo regains control, sends it back to the top of the box. Taylor Brinkman tries to head it, but it goes backwards. This is a dangerous opportunity. Number 17 with the ball there is Hazel Bailing of the Cardinals. Top of the box, it's Sydney Fashingbauer. And the uh, ball there is going to go off of uh, the Chippo uh, kicker there. And it's going to be a goal kick for the Hudson Raiders. Chuckle sets the ball down, and she'll take the goal kick again for the Raiders. Up and out, this time to the right flank there. Chippewa gains possession. Emma Richard wins the ball back for Hudson. Sends the ball up to the forward spot there. There's Maddie Haynes coming in on goal. Haynes has an opportunity to score, and the goalkeeper makes a beautiful stop there. And that goalkeeper uh, for the Cardinals is Sam Smith, the senior goalkeeper. And one of the better goalkeepers in the Big Rivers Conference there. Haynes had a... A golden opportunity there to dispossess her and push past the ball to the side, but she had a defender on her back and the goalkeeper in front, and they won that battle. Here comes the Cardinals again on the attack. There's number 17, Hazel Bailing, out on the right flank, defended by Mackenzie Drace. Ball goes out of bounds off of Drace, number 11 there, the left midfielder for the Raiders. Throw-ins taken by Bailing. She gets it to Soward. Soward has the ball here. Tries to spin on uh, Marley Johnson. Johnson, very tenacious defender. Uh, the great thing about Marley Johnson is she doesn't overcommit. Well, that's a second quarter kick we've given him there. That time, Ani Lewis uh, knocked the ball out the end line. Coach Knutson's not going to be happy giving up two easy corner kicks uh, to the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Statistics in soccer are that 40 to 60% of goals happen on set plays like this on a corner kick. And so you want to avoid them. There a ball is sent up and it's headed, but uh, headed out the backside of the goal instead of uh, forward toward the netting there. Ball goes off of Chippewa Falls. Emma Richards going to take the throw. She actually hands it to Emma Olson, the right defender for the Raiders. And Emma Olson takes the throw in there. High ball goes to Montana Hoder, but can't control. Goes to Chippewa Falls. Brinkman tries to step in and clear the ball. Can't get it out of there. And uh, Sarah Oliver, number eight there, uh, number nine, sorry, uh, battling for the ball and doing a good job for the Cardinals. There's a throw into the box. Sydney Fashingbauer is there. Hudson's trying to clear it. Chip was trying to grind a, a ball near the goal there and get a shot off. They bring it back out to the midfield. Soward, number 13, has the ball, trying to get some space. Ani Lewis with a good step there. Haynes, oh, Haynes did a great job hustling again, trying to win that ball, not let it go out of bounds. Soward takes a throw for Chippewa Falls. Drace gets a touch on it. Number 17, Hazel Bailing still has the ball here. Drace dispossesses, wins the ball, gets it upfield. Sends it to Soward, but Soward gets the ball back, trying to cross it. And Marley Johnson steps in and knocks that ball out of bounds, out the touch line there. That'll be a throw in for Soward and the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Throw into the top of the box here to Sydney Fashingbauer. Fashingbauer sends it back to Soward. A shot in and Karin Chuckle there, right on the money, grabs it solidly and stops that threat. And a very nice distribution there from Chuckle to the outside midfielder, Amanda Carey, who has a lot of space to run here. Carey sends a nice long lofted ball up to the center toward Jordan Heltebrand. See if Heltebrand can get a foot on it. Well defended there. Uh, Chippewa Falls, no, dangerous. Montana Hoder gets a left foot on there. Sends the ball into Sam Smith, the goalkeeper for Chippewa Falls, who does stop that one. But uh, good, uh, good play by both Heltebrand and Montana Hoder there to get an opportunity for the Raiders to score. Chippewa Falls on the counterattack. Emma Olsen in, in retreat there. Ball goes out of bounds off the Cardinals. It's going to be Hudson Raider throwing. Emma Olsen takes the throw, trying to get it to Amanda Carey up toward Montana Hoder. Chippewa Falls miss touches. Marley Johnson gets a touch on the outside to Amanda Carey. Carey with a nice bit of dribbling there. Gets into open space, sends it up to the top. Gets to uh, Marley Johnson, sends it over to Mackenzie Drace. Drace tries to switch fields there. 
Goes right into the Cardinal defender there. Drake's got to get that ball lifted up a little bit more to get it up and over. Can't go through. There's Sidney Fashingbauer for the Cardinals, but Ani Lewis steps in nicely to win that ball. Unfortunately, can't clear it out to the side, and Chippewa regains possession there. Fashingbauer has the ball, goes back to the outside there, trying to get it up to Sarah Oliver, number nine, the forward for the Cardinals. Hudson on the counterattack here. Montana Hoder is going to get called. Uh, no, actually, the call was on Chippewa Falls. And Hudson's going to take a free kick here. It'll probably be uh, Emma Olson taking the free kick here, number 14. She's going to set the ball into the position she wants to be able to take this attacking free kick. Good position to score on this ball. We'll see if Olson can lift the ball up into the box area there. Good ball, goes into the box, gets touched by Heltebrand. Hoder can't control. Chippewa Falls gets it out and uh, clears it to the side. There's Sydney Fashingbauer, number eight, one of the tougher players in the conference with the ball. Good step by Brinkman to stab the ball away. Chippewa recovers again, sends it up, tries to get it to Sarah Oliver. Emma Richard in the center tries to win that ball. Play goes back and forth between Richard and their center midfielder. That's Soward again. And there's Sydney Fashingbauer, number eight for Chippewa, trying to maintain possession of the ball. Her and Emma Richard are battling. Ani Lewis steps in, passes up to Maddie Haynes, number 16, the left forward for the Raiders. Ball still uh, in possession by Chippewa Falls. Marley Johnston now gains control for Hudson. She's going up the left flank there, trying to use her speed and does. Gets past one defender, gets past another defender, gets into the open area, wants to cross this ball. Sits it on her right foot, tries to get a shot off. Ball goes to the center. Oh, Haynes got a touch on that ball. Uh, couldn't keep it close enough to the feet to get a quality shot off, and the ball just rolls to Sam uh, Smith, the goalkeeper for Chippewa Falls there. Another dangerous opportunity for the Raiders, but uh, unable to convert there. And the score remains one to nothing Hudson over Chippewa Falls here. Karen Chuckle picks up this ball, and she's going to punt this ball away. Ball lands beyond midfield, and Maddie Haynes here has an opportunity. Heads the ball up, back taps back to Mackenzie Drace. Drace backs, uh, taps the ball back to Ani Lewis. Ani Lewis with the ball now in control for the Raiders. Tries to get it up to Haynes there, and Haynes does win a ball and a missed touch by Chippewa. Haynes tries to cross the ball to the center to see if Heltebrand can get there. Uh, Marley Johnson trying to win that. Uh, it's kind of a scrum today, folks. Ball going back and forth. Not a lot of clear possession from either team. Emma Richard has the ball for the Raiders right now on uh, the right side there. She tries to get it up to the forward, Montana Hoder. Hoder has a play to Amanda Carey, who's overlapping on the right side. We'll see if Carey can cross this ball in. Carey gets the ball deep, and it goes off the end line of, uh, from the Cardinals, and it's going to be a corner kick for the Hudson Raiders. Let's see what Hudson can do on this. They work very hard on their set plays on the corners, and they have a number of different formations. They have an arc formation, which is a number of players in the goal box area in an arc shape. They also have a goal line formation where they have a couple players flat on the goal line. I can't quite see the formation here with uh, the camera angle. Uh, Emma Richards sets the ball on the triangle in the corner of the field and raises her hand ready to kick this ball. She lost this ball into the goal box there and tries to get ahead on it by Jordan Heltebrand. Ball comes across the goal face there. Mackenzie Drace has control of the ball, trying to get to open space to find a teammate. Tries to pass to Annie Lewis there, but with miscommunication. Chippewa Falls ends up with the ball, and there's Sarah Oliver running down the field. Sarah, one of the faster players for Chippewa. Tries to get it through the heart of the defense there, but Taylor Brinkman does a nice job on the defense. Sarah Oliver with the ball again, the left-footed shot. She tries to cross it in, but there's nobody up there for the Cardinals. And Karen Chuckle, junior goalkeeper for Hudson, grabs this ball and punts it away. Ball bounces before midfield. Heltebrand tries to get a touch and does. Sends it up to Haynes. Here's Haynes on a dangerous play again on a breakaway. Maddie Haynes, number 16. And Haynes drives the ball with the left foot into the back of the net, giving the Hudson Raiders a two-to-nothing score here. Jordan Heltebrand won that ball, brought it up the field, and at 13:41 of the first half, Haynes gets her first goal of the game to put the Raiders up uh, two goals to zero. And uh, goals by Amanda Carey. Uh, assisted by Emma Richard, and this goal was uh, Maddie Haynes, assisted by Jordan Heltebrand for the 2-0 Raider lead over the Chippewa Falls Cardinals.
Number two, Jenna Ewings there, uh, along with Fashing Bauer, is going to kick off for the Cardinals. Intercepted by Heltebrand right off the kickoff there, but turned over to the Cardinals again. Marley Johnson trying to get a touch. Emma Richard finally does, gets tripped a little bit there. No call. Cardinals have control of the ball temporarily here. They try to send the ball up to the right flank, headed down by Ani Lewis. Marley Johnson gets the ball out to Mackenzie Drace on the left flank, and Drace tries to come up the field there. They're going to call that ball out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Taking the throw uh, for the Cardinals is going to be, we can see your number here. That's number 18. That's Andrea Sahoski. I'm sorry. Isabel Spooner. Sorry about that, Isabel. Drace with the ball in the center, tries to get it across to uh, Emma Richard and does. Richard tries to send the ball up. She splits the defenders there. And Heltebrand and Hoder trying to get to that ball before the goalkeeper does, but the goalkeeper is able to knock it out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for Coming Hudson the here. Leaders, number 21, Katie Woodley. And number Substitutions 26, coming on for the Hudson Raiders. Katie Woodley, number 21 there, the junior, comes in for Hudson. Lauren Milbrandt, number 26, just ran across the screen there, and uh, Lauren will be uh, probably playing a, a midfield or a forward position on the left there. Emma Olson sends a nice ball into the top of the goal box there, and there's Milbrandt, 26, trying to battle for the ball as the left forward. Chippa Falls knocks the ball out of bounds, and that's going to be a throw in for the Hudson Raiders. Coming up to take throw number 25, freshman Ani Lewis. Phenomenal player all year. Started as a freshman from the first game and hasn't come out since. The ball goes out of bounds off of Chippewa. It's going to be another throw in. Lauren Milbrandt here is readying to take the throw for the Raiders. Ideally, you want a long throw in the box here. A little lofted ball there to Haynes. Haynes gets the ball in the top of the box and tries to get a right-footed shot. Comes across the box of Montana Hoder trying to get ahead on that ball. Uh, doesn't do that. It's going to be out off of Hudson and going to be a goal kick for the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. You see Sam Smith uh, preparing the ball, putting it on the goal line there, and Sam Smith will take the goal kick for the Cardinals. Smith with a short kick there, goes into the midfield area, controlled by number seven. That is Michaela Beebe for the Cardinals. Cardinals on attack here. Fashing Bauer and crew are trying to bring the ball upfield. Number three is uh, Adeline Bankston, a young player. Her father, Steve Bankston, uh, has been a longtime coach for the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. And now it's Justin Engham and, uh, for his first year of coaching the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. They made a number of Seven improvements. The uh, Chippewa Falls game was pretty Richard. tough this year. And Memorial leads the conference. Hudson's firmly in second place. And then Chippewa Falls is in the mix for that third spot. Throw in by the Raiders there. Emma Olson tries to touch the ball in toward Heltebrand. Uh, Hudson can't control. Chippewa maintains possession. Woodley battling for the ball there. Number seven for Chippewa. That's Michaela Beebe again wins the ball. They try to send it up to the top there. That's number two, Jenna Ewings for Chippewa. Number four gets into the mix. That's Kaylor Gerlach for Chippewa Falls. And there's Ani Lewis uh, recovering and winning the ball there, dribbling up the left-hand side for the Raiders. Lewis trying to get the ball forward to Haynes and does beautifully slotted ball up that channel on the left side. And Haynes is turning the corner here, tries to get a left-footed shot across, and it goes across the box, punched out by Chippewa Falls, and that's going to be a corner kick for the Hudson Raiders. Uh, good job by Haynes to uh, beat the Chippewa defender around that left edge and get a cross ball in. And Emma Richard, number 10 for the Hudson Raiders, is going to take this corner. This is the goal line set. You see Maddie Haynes on the goal line along with Jordan Heltebrand. And Emma Richard has options to go short to the goal line players there, or she can loft the ball up into the, into the box area. This one she does try to go short there to uh, Katie Woodley. Woodley trying to get a shot in the box area. Chippewa just bangs the ball out of bounds. Should be another corner kick for the Hudson Raiders. <laughs> Two to nothing here today is the score already early in the game here. Ani Lewis is going to take the ball. I guess it was a throw and it went out the touch line on the side, not the end line in the back. Ani Lewis takes the throw, gets it to Katie Wood, or uh, Emma Richard, that is. Emma gets dispossessed there. Chippewa has the ball. They try to send it upfield. 
trying to get it to their forward there. Sidney Fashingbauer, number eight, one of the better players for the Chippewa Falls team, tough player. And that's number two, Jenny Ewings, trying to combine with her. Emma Olson has the ball, puts a left foot on it, trying to get it to the Raiders here. Montana Hoder gets it out to the side, trying to get it to Amanda Carey. Hudson loses the ball, goes back to Chippewa. Number 14 for Chippewa is Chaz Ann Olson sends the ball outside, but Amanda Carey recovers that ball. Dribbling in, trying to get near the top of the box. A nice little chip there. There's Maddie Haynes trying to get a touch on the ball. Sam Smith touches the ball as well, and Hudson gets another goal here. It's Jordan Heltebrand for Maddie Haynes, the opposite combination of before, and that gives Hudson a three to nothing lead. 19 minutes and five seconds into the contest. Very quick start for Hudson with a 3-0 lead today. And that was a beautiful bit of work with Amanda Carey chipping a nice ball into Maddie Haynes. Haynes trying to get a shot on it, and Jordan Heltebrand touches the ball into the back of the net. So that's a goal by Heltebrand and an assist this time by Haynes. So they've, uh, they've done it each way. Haynes with the goal and Heltebrand with the assist, and now Heltebrand with the goal and Haynes with the assist. Well done by two of the captains. Heltebrand, the senior captain, number 13, and Haynes, uh, junior captain, number 16. That's going to be uh, called there. Another trip by Emma uh, Richard. That's her second uh, tripped call of the game there where she's tripped up a Cardinals player. Taking the free kick here is number 18, Isabel Spooner for the Cardinals. Nicely chipped ball up into the box area there. Hudson's trying to clear it. And number seven for Chippewa Falls, that is Michaela Beebe again, sends a ball that goes to the left of the goal there. Karen Chuckles going to set that ball down and take the goal kick for the Hudson Raiders. Substitutions coming on and off the field again. So Carr and Chuckle patiently waiting there to take the free kick. Ref signals and Carr and readies and does send the ball there to the right flank. Temporarily intercepted by uh, Chippewa, but Katie Woodley comes back to win the ball. She tries to send it out to the right side to Lauren Shorty Battis. Lauren can't control that ball and it goes out of bounds. It's gonna be a throw in for the Cardinals. It's number one, Angel Borla takes the throw in for, uh, for Chip. Lauren Battis with the throw in for the Raiders, up the line there, trying to get it to Kyla Shuey, number 12 for the Raiders. Kyla comes back to win the ball, sends it back to Lauren. Uh, Lauren tries to kick it up the side there. She tries to get it to Amanda Carey. Amanda Carey with the ball now on the right flank, trying to get that up onto the top to Shuey, number 12, the junior, who's in the game now for the Raiders. Emma Olson and and Katie Woodley in the midfield there for Hudson trying to win the ball. Woodley with the ball here, dribbling. Gets past a couple of Chippewa Cardinals, Chippewa Falls Cardinals, and send it up to uh, Shuey. Hudson can't control that ball. They send another one up here. This one they try to get toward Haynes. Haynes can't quite uh, maintain possession on that ball, goes out of bounds. That should be a Hudson throw. Ani Lewis comes up to take that throw to get more players into the offensive attack, which is a good idea. Lewis sends the ball to uh, Haynes, who gets bumped out of there. Haynes sends the ball with the right foot right to the goalie, Sam Smith. Sam gathers this one up. Smith, one of the better goalies in the conference, but Hudson here up three to nothing early in the game. Could be a long game for Smith today. Carey trying to win this ball and does. Chipwood dispossesses temporarily. Carey gets it back, goes back and forth, goes out of bounds off of the Hudson Raiders, and it's going to be called a chip a ball, chip a throw in there. The Seven ARs the today are number Dean 13, Gums and Eric Holly Anderson, Ford. and the center ref number today 16, is Jennifer Jankowitz. And number 19, and I believe Andrea this is Jankowitz's first uh, game doing the center ref position. Chippewa takes the throw in here. Ball comes toward Bankston. Bankston gets the ball upfield to Soward. Soward trying to get the ball out to Sarah Oliver. Oliver crosses the ball in, and that's uh, Michaela Beebe with the ball right now. Beebe trying to get the ball up to the top there. She does to number two, Jenna Ewings. Shorty Battis wins that battle, pulls it back, trying to win the ball there. Just use her Shorty, knock it off her shins if you can. Chippewa regains possession there. Shorty with the ball back that time. She banged it off Chippewa, but the ball bounced in and uh, who's with the ball there? Katie 
Woodley with the ball trying to get it up to uh, Kyla Shuey, and there's no one in front of Kyla Shuey there, so uh, Hudson turns that ball over, regains it. Amanda Carey tries to get control, ball goes out of bounds, that'll be a Chippewa Falls throw in. Heavy crown on the field over on that side, you can see the ditch, and uh, boy, if you don't uh, maintain possession of the ball on that line, the pitch will take it right out with the, with the uh, crown. Throw in for Hudson here is gonna be Lauren Battis, number 17. Substitutions coming onto the field. Coming in for the Raiders, number 13, Jordan Hildebrand, and number nine, Grace Potter. Coach Knutson giving instructions to Battis here. Battis with a good throw up the line there. Ball's knocked out of bounds off the shins of Kyla Shuey, and that's gonna be a throw in for the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Chippewa takes the throw in, sends the ball out of bounds there, and it's gonna be a Hudson throw. Battis comes up to take that throw for the Raiders and does. Shuey tries to get ahead on it, can't quite get there. Chippewa Falls gets a touch, Shuey gets a touch, ball goes out of bounds again, that's gonna be sent off of uh, Hudson Raider, and it's gonna be a Chippewa Falls throw in. Down the line for the Cardinals there. Ball's battled for on the side. Goes over the plexiglass shelter there that the Hudson Raiders are residing in. Going to be another throw in for the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. <coughs> Jenny Ewings with a little shot there. Oh, Chuckle has a hard time. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Bobbled a fairly easy stop for Chuckle again. The uh, ball goes out of bounds. Uh, the rebound was dangerous there as the Chippewa Falls Cardinal was coming in. Could have put a ball on an empty net with Char Chuckle uh, sprawled out on the ground there and they just mishit it to the left of the goal there. So Chippewa has an opportunity with Hazel Bailing, number 17, who prepares for another corner kick by the Hudson Raiders. Bailing lost this ball up to the box area there. Soward gets a touch on it. Emma Richard trying to win the ball. Good job, Harry! Chippewa battling hard for that. Number 11 for Chippewa there is Grace Rosine had a touch. BB sends the ball out to the right flank. Nobody there for Chippewa, and that'll be a throw in for Hudson, so Ani Lewis will take this throw. Holding for substitutions again is Sonny Lewis, and she'll wait to get the whistle from the center ref to restart the game. And they're ready. Lewis with the throw in down the line for the Raiders. Kept in by Heltebrand, nice job. Touched out by number 11 for Chippewa Falls. That's Grace Rosine again on the defense there. Ani Lewis runs to take the throw in. You see uh, Lauren Milbrandt there now playing a left mid position. Jordan Heltebrand now playing left forward. Heltebrand crosses the ball with the right foot, gets it over to Tyler Huber playing a center forward position for the Raiders right now. Woodley battling for a ball there. That's uh, Grace Potter, number nine now, coming onto the ball, back taps it. Good turn by Grace. Gets it over to Katie Woodley. Woodley now uh, with the right foot, tries to send the ball up to the right flank there and does. Ball is into open space there. Chippewa Falls is gonna win that ball. That's Chaz Ann Olson uh, that wins that ball. Ball goes out of bounds off of Shuey and it's gonna be a Chippewa Falls throw in here. Looks like they changed the call on that and uh, it's gonna be a throw in for the Raiders here. Or they're call actually they called a foul. So it's actually gonna be a free kick. Uh, Grace Potter here is gonna take this free kick for the Hudson Raiders. Potter with the kick into the box area. It's knocked out by Chippewa Falls. Number 12, Shuey tries to shield that ball and get it on her left foot there. Still battling for the ball. She sends it into the top of the box. Ty Huber can't control. Chippewa does maintain possession, gets the ball cleared out. Uh, Taylor Brinkman steps up to try and uh, get that ball back upfield. Ani Lewis battling for the ball here. Ball goes out of bounds off of Chippewa. Ani's gonna get the throw in for the Raiders there. Good job by Ani shielding that ball out of bounds for the Hudson Raider throw in. 
Another good throw for Ronnie Lewis right up the line. Touched out of bounds by Helterbrand. Chippewa Falls will take possession here with a throw. Waiting for substitutions again to come onto the field. Go Red! <laughs> Subbing in for the Cardinals. Number three, Adeline Bankston. And number eight, Sydney Fashingbauer. Chippewa takes the throw, goes right into Lauren Milbrandt there. Milbrandt trying to shield and keep the ball. Gets it uh, to midfielder Emma Richard, but that's a wow. tough ball to maintain for the the bounds. Richard doesn't seem entirely pleased with that sequence there. Uh, Chippewa has the ball here, and that's Sarah Oliver sends the ball, trying to get it to Fashingbauer, but Taylor Brinkman, who gets whacked in the back by Fashingbauer. Fashingbauer's a little bit of a nasty player. She uh, often... Uh, plays well after the whistle and uh, will give you the shot just because. Ani Lewis, number 25, the freshman, takes the throw for the Hudson Raiders. Heltebrand trying to win the ball, goes off her head, and uh, it's going to be Chippewa's ball. Ball goes, I uh, thought that went out of bounds there. Now it's out of bounds. Ani Lewis again with the throw. And Emma Richard gets knocked down there. No call on that play either way. Referees letting them play today. Some of these uh, fouls should be called in art and some uh, called that uh, an art uh, foul. So Chippewa, uh, Hudson knocks the ball out of bounds. Emma Richard there, so it's gonna be Chippewa throw in there. Sarah Oliver with a long throw into the box area there. Taylor Brinkman gets a body on it. Chippewa's fashion bower ends up with the ball, gets it on her right foot. Tries to get a shot off, but it's blocked by Hudson and a mess of players in the goal box area there. Emma Richard comes out of it. Tries to get the ball up to Heltebrand on the left side there. Heltebrand maintains possession. Comes down the left channel there. Let's see what she can create for offense here. Crosses it over to the right foot. Trying to get it into the midfield area. There's Tyler Huber. Huber has the ball and she sends it over to uh, Katie Woodley, number 21, in the center mid spot there. Woodley tries to get it up on top to Kyla Shuey. Can't maintain possession. Ty Huber is still battling with the ball there with Woodley. Here's Emma Richard, number 10, with the ball getting into a dangerous spot on the top of the box. Richard with a right-footed shot that goes to the upper right-hand side of the post and up and over. A good bit of uh, dribbling by Emma Richard there. Knutson's going to be happy about the way Emma Richard uh, was able to evade several defenders there and manufacture a yard or two of open space to get a shot off. That's, uh, that was about a yard away from being an ESPN highlight shot there, folks. Sam Smith for the Cardinals takes the goal kick. Lauren Battis for the Raiders sends it back to Taylor Brinkman. Brinkman has a little bit of time. Sends it back to Battis, and Battis sends the ball up the right flank there. Headed by Shuey, kept in bounds. Good job by Shuey on that uh, sequence. Chippewa with the counter attack here. Taylor Brinkman's there, tries to get the ball away, gets the ball uh, out to the side there. Let's see if we can stop that from being a corner, and we do. That's a, uh, oh, that's a nice bit of work by Lauren Milbrandt, but it goes off of Milbrandt, and they're gonna give that corner kick to the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. is gonna take this kick for the Cardinals. Raises her hand and readies. Chips the ball up to the top of the box. Tried to be headed by Chippewa. Number 16 had a shot. Uh, blocked by Hudson. Ball comes back to the top of the box there. That's Bengston battling with the ball for uh, with Taylor Brinkman. Hudson gets it out temporarily. Ball comes back in. And that's a good ball cleared by Emma Olson there for the Raiders. Ball goes back into the defensive third for the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Heltebrand running onto the ball there. Slips a little bit. Number 11 is Grace Rosine for Chippewa, trying to fend off Heltebrand. Chippewa gets the ball back, and Sarah Oliver, number nine, their dangerous forward, has the ball here, tries to get it up to Fashingbauer, uh, and does. Fashingbauer with a good bit of dribbling there, back and forth, trying to create some space. Fashingbauer gets the ball, can't find anybody as one of those players open, she just isn't looking for them. Fashingbauer wheels and fires a left-footed shot that goes about 10 yards to the right of the goal post there. No harm, no foul for the Raiders. And Karin Chuckle will set up to take this goal kick. Waiting for substitutions once again. 
Emma Olson comes to the left defensive spot, replacing Annika Lewis over here. Chuckle with the goal kick. High shot toward the right there, headed by number 17, Hazel Bailing for the Cardinals. Cardinals maintain possession temporarily there. Bankston sends the ball in, but it's touched by Emma Olson. Marley Johnston, number eight for the Raiders, gets a temporary touch on that, gets it back again. Sends it to the outside there to Amanda Carey, number three. Carey with the ball on the right flank, sends the ball up to the top. Maddie Haynes now playing the right forward. Gets it into the goal box area there. Haynes shields the ball well. And the ball's knocked out of bounds by Chippewa Falls. It's gonna be a throw in for the Raiders. Amanda Carey, one of the longer throw-ins on the team here, is gonna try to get this ball deep into the box. Coach Knutson always gets upset. These guys come to the front of the box and, and Carey can throw it over their heads, much like she just did there. And all we had was one player, uh, uh, Tyler Huber there. There's a left-footed shot. Uh, good shot by Marley Johnson. Goes right to the belly of Sam Smith. On a throw like that though, Hudson should have four players in the right area when Amanda Carey takes that throw. And instead we crowd up to the top of the box and it goes over their heads. Chippewa with the counterattack, Soward with the ball, trying to get it up on top. Taylor Brinkman running that ball down with Fashingbauer, who bumps her again. Brinkman with the ball, puts it on her right foot and gets the ball out of bounds and lets Hudson get reset. Uh, Knutson never minds him getting time like that to kick the ball out of bounds, let the defense reset, and that's just safe play. But uh, I know it, he pulls his hair out when they give up corner kicks when the Raiders kick it out the end line. Chippewa still trying to attack Emma Richard with the ball now, sends it up, but it's uh, to no one there. Number 14 for the Cardinals is Chaz Ann Olson with the ball. Marley Johnston for Hudson has it, tries to get it out to Haynes on the right and does. Haynes evades one player, chips it up and into the middle there where Ty Huber uh, is, but can't quite get there. That's number 11 again, uh, Grace Rosine for Chippewa who uh, sends the ball to the outside there. Sarah Oliver with the ball now, evades Emma Richard for the Raiders, gets past her and sends the ball up through the center. Too firm a ball, uh, or out to the left side, I should say. And that ball gets knocked away by the Raiders uh, out of harm's way. Marley Johnston again trying to win the ball for the Hudson Raiders on the right flank and does. Ball goes out of bounds off of Chippewa. That's gonna be a throw in for the Hudson Raiders. Stepping in for the Raiders, number 11, Kenzie Drace. After substitutions again. <laughs> Lauren Battis with the ball, takes the throw, up and in toward Maddie Haynes. Haynes is gonna get a ball on her right foot, crosses the ball in front of the goal. Oh, Heltebrand can't, uh, can't get there on the backside. That was a ball that was beautifully served in by Haynes and Heltebrand couldn't quite get, a, get uh, any part of her body in a position to uh, uh, strike that ball on the backside. Going to be a throw in for Chippewa Falls here. Subbing in for Chippewa, number six, Caitlin Siddons. Number 18, Isabel Spooner takes that throw. Who's the number three? That's Adeline Bengston again. Chippewa uh, trying to maintain possession up the side and does. Hazel Bailing now with the ball. Sending it up toward uh, Fashing Bauer. They can't control. Hudson wins that ball. Mackenzie Drace along with Bankston battling for that ball. Drace gets the better of that contest there. And it's gonna be a throw in for the Raiders. Oh no, they changed that call. It's gonna be Chippewa Falls throw. Ball's headed by Emma Olson to Mackenzie Drace. Drace puts the ball on the right foot, evades a couple of players, trying to switch field on the uh, to the right side over there. Chippewa intercepts and sends it back toward the center. Drace gets a touch on the ball, but Sarah Oliver wins it and goes upfield with a slotted ball that Taylor Brinkman knocks away. Brinkman pounds that ball out of bounds to give the Raiders time to reset. Again, you see Knutson uh, giving instructions to Chippewa now. It's not enough that he uh, coaches his own players. He's even coaching Chippewa. He's telling them to back up. Chippewa takes the throw. Hudson commits a foul there. I think that foul is on Emma Richard again. That's her third foul of the game. That could have been uh, maybe Carey as well. Couldn't tell there. Chippewa getting ready to take the free kick here. Dangerous area. Chippewa chips the ball in there, goes to the top of the box. Hudson trying to clear it out. Chippewa trying to get a, a shot on goal. 
returns and fires. Ball's knocked out of bounds uh, there by Hudson. It's gonna be another throw in for Chippewa. Substitutions coming on and off the field. And Chippewa takes the throw. Marley Johnson trying to stop that effort and does, sends a nice uh, lofted ball to the right side there, but it, uh, unfortunately nobody there. Ball goes out of bounds, gonna be a throw in for Chip. Marley Johnson digs back to win that ball, gets it to Lauren Battis and Battis trying to get it up to Haynes. Can't quite keep it in with that crown of the field. The ball goes out of bounds. Going to be another Chippewa Falls Cardinals throw in. Raiders ready to take the throw in here. Setting in for the Raiders, number 18, Substitutions again, Ty Huber, number 22, coming off the field there. And Montana Hoder, number 18, taking her place as a center forward. Lauren Battis wins the ball here, sends it back to Taylor Brinkman. Brinkman sends a high ball up and away. Ball's headed by Chippewa Falls, goes into the field and back to their defensive area there. Number 14 is Chaz Ann Olson, uh, knocked that ball out of bounds. Manny Carey, number three, is going to take the throw or thought about it, drop the ball. Coming in for the Raiders, number 25, Annie Lewis. Raiders here, and that's Ani Lewis playing over on the right side now. Ani doesn't often get to play on the right side, but Knutson's trying him in different places. Here's uh, Haynes with the ball in a dangerous place in the top of the box. Gets tripped up there, and Chippewa gets the ball out of bounds. Sarah or Oliver with the ball right now. Sarah Oliver trying to get it upfield there. Brinkman knocks it back up, gets it to Marley Johnston in a great midfield position there. Chippewa digs back to, to win that ball and send it outside. That's uh, Madeline Bengston. Amanda Carey wins the ball back though. Good bit of work by Amanda Carey and she lost a ball in with the right foot, goes up and over. Uh, would, have been, would have been a great shot in the upper shelf there had she been able to get it down about a three, two, three feet. Uh, uh, good work by Carey to get that shot off from distance. Sam Smith ready for Chippewa Falls to take the goal kick. A little better effort there on the goal kick by Smith. Ball goes out of bounds off of Hudson. That's going to be a, a Cardinal throw in. Plays the ball back into the head, and uh, Marley Johnson in there. Hudson wins the ball, has it on the right side. Amanda Carey trying to get a ball up to Haynes there on the right, and does. Uh, number 14 there, Chaz Ann Olson with the ball now, and Haynes battling for the ball, goes out of bounds off of Haynes. It's going to be a throw in for the Cardinals. Johnston uh, won the ball, lost the ball, won it again. That's uh, that's typical of Marley Johnston. She does not give up until she owns the ball. Throw in for the Cardinals. Goes to Sarah Oliver, sends it back to the thrower, chips it in, tries to get it to the top of the box area there. Trying to get it up here. Uh, Hazel Bailing. Ball goes out of bounds off Hudson, off Grace Potter. And that's going to be a throw in for the Cardinals. Number 18 is Isabel Spooner with the throw. It goes up and in. Trying to get it to Sarah Oliver. And Taylor Brinkman is there to knock the ball away. Hoder comes back to win the ball. Good job by Hoder. Drace with the ball now. Drace sends it up to Haynes. Here's Haynes on the right side battling two Chippewa defenders now. Puts the ball on the right foot, lifts it up, and towards Sam. Smith and Sam gets an easy stop there off the foot of Haynes, but she'll punt this ball away. Grace Potter here with a touch. 
Trying to get it upfield toward Jordan Hiltebrand. Can't quite get it there. Chippewa sends that ball up to the midfield area. Bankston with a touch back. Tries to get the ball toward uh, Marley Johnston. Marley Johnston, number eight with the ball, sends it to the middle. Mackenzie Drace in the midfield there for the Raiders right now. Tries to send it out to the side to Amanda Carey. Uh, miscommunication a little bit there, and Carey didn't know that ball was coming. Ball went out of bounds, it'll be a chip of throwing. up the touch line. It's uh, right footed by Hudson into the attacking third there. Chippewa gains possession, just knocks the ball out of bounds. Going to be another Hudson throw in the attacking third. It's a quick start by Carey trying to get the ball to Haynes who tries to go back to Carey. Battling for the ball yet. It's Amanda Carey, number 19. That's Andrea Sahoski. Carey's going to take this throw and again. Let's see if Hudson learned anything. No, they haven't learned. They're crowding the line there, and Carey's going to throw the ball over their head again. This time, Marley Johnson gets near the ball. Oh, trying to get a shot off, and Sam Smith smothers the ball. But you can see the goal-scoring opportunities when Amanda Carey throws that ball into the box as long as Hudson uh, understands the length of her throw. Emma Olson with the ball now for the Raiders, trying to get that ball upfield. It goes to Amanda Carey now. Carey does a nice job of slotting the ball there to Haynes, but they called Haynes offside. Ooh, Haynes shot the ball there after the whistle blew. They can actually call a yellow card there on the player for delay a game if they shoot the ball after a whistle has been made. I'll be surprised if the ref doesn't maybe whisper that into her ear of don't take the shot after the whistle. Chippewa Falls ready to take the eight, free kick here. Seven, it does. Six, Short kick goes five, up to Sarah Oliver. Four. Ball's won by Hudson, Two, goes up to Haynes on the right one. there. Haynes lifts a long ball right to the hands of Sam Smith. And I believe that's going to end our half here, folks. So uh, three to nothing at the end of the first half with the Hudson Raiders on top of the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Kind of an uh, overcast day here. And Hudson outshot uh, Chippewa in the first half, 10 to six, and lead the game three to nothing. And uh, we'll see what happens in the second half. Uh, looks like uh, looks like we might have a, uh, if I know Knutes and a goalkeeper change might be coming for Hudson at some point. Jennifer Jankowitz, the center ref, running back out the center. Ready's both sides, ready to blow her whistle for Chippewa Falls to take the kickoff. Down three to nothing in this game. <laughs> Haley Sower, number 13, with the ball, slots the ball. Out the there. Oh, the goalkeeper, that ball gets away from Hudson. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Sends it into the back of the Raiders' net there. And uh, Chippewa Falls on the breakaway in less than a minute into the start of the second half as a one to nothing uh, lead there. And Knutson's going to be wondering about putting Carr and Chuckle on the field and letting uh, uh, freshman goalkeeper McKenna Olson play 40, 45 19. Uh, so just 19 seconds into the start of the second half. The Chippewa Falls Cardinals have a bit of hope here. Uh, hope is a bad thing for an opponent. And uh, Hudson's going to have to see what they can do to recover. That's just a bit of bit of bad luck with McKenna Olsen uh, coming out on that ball and the ball going to Brinkley. And Brinkley trying to clear the ball, buries it into the back of the Hudson net for an own goal uh, against Hudson there. Uh, Brinkman's got to feel terrible about that too. Chippewa with the throw in, you can see they put a little that goal, put a little hop in their step here. And Hudson uh, getting a little out of sorts here, not being able to control the short balls. Chippewa takes the throw, Hudson tries to maintain, ball goes out of bounds off of Chippewa, that should be a Hudson throw. Emma Olson, right D for Hudson, is gonna take that one and does. Headed up by Chippewa Falls, up to their forward Sarah Oliver. Oliver trying to maintain possession, gets it to Soward. 
So we're trying to chip it up to Fashing Bower there. Ani Lewis gets Come a touch on, over to Emma Angel. Olson. And uh, Jenna Ewings go, go, go. and Fashing Bower trying to combine there. A little bit unlucky there with uh, Manny Carey tripping the ball going out of bounds off her. Uh, throw in is headed out by Emma Olson. Uh, Chippewa maintains possession from uh, Seward back to uh, 19. Andrea Sahoski there for Chippewa Falls. Yes. Chippewa Falls getting it back into Seward up near the top of the box. Amanda Carey with the ball with some space. Carey tries to send the ball up here, goes harmlessly into the Chippewa defender. Uh, in the midfield there. Number 14 for Chippewa Chaz Ann Olson with the ball. Trying to get it up to Sarah Oliver. Oliver on the left side there, dispossessed by Taylor Brinkman. Good job by Brinkman, who sends the ball upfield. Trying to get it toward Hoder, intercepted by Chip. Emma Richard now has the ball. Good bit of dribbling by Richard. Richard tries to evade a couple of players and does. Sends the ball up onto the top. Heltebrand and Hoder up on top with the goalkeeper, Sam Smith, for Chippewa Falls. Beats the Hudson Raiders to the ball and just knocks the ball out the touchline on the side there. Emma Olson ready to take the throw for Hudson and does. Ball goes up and in toward Montana Hoder. It's headed by Chip. Uh, back tap by Chip again. Emma Olson knocks the ball into the midfield there, and there's Mackenzie Grace. Temporarily with the ball, but turning it over to Bankston for Chippewa. Chippewa sends it up and out. There's number eight, Sydney Fashingbauer, trying to get the ball up to Oliver there. Sarah Oliver, she's coming on uh, strong against Emma Olson there for Hudson. Emma Richard has a twist there, tries to get the ball around Soward, and Soward intercepts. Oh, she just drills Emma Richard right in the face with that ball. Holy smokes. Emma should have went down on that one, my gosh. <laughs> this is checking to see if Richard's okay after taking that shot to the head. Holy smokes. Wouldn't doubt if he gets her out of the game just to check on her here. Chippewa Falls takes the free kick there, sends it to the midfield. Uh, Marley Johnston trying to win the ball. Johnston and Richard in the center there. Ball goes out of bounds here. I think that's off of Chip. It's going to be the Hudson throw in there. Emma Olson takes the throw in on the right side there. It's touched by Katie Woodley. Chippewa Falls uh, regains possession here. Fashingbauer has the ball in uh, the top of the chip offensive line there. Ball going back and forth, not maintained possession well by either team here. As Jenna Ewings turns it over to Richard. Richard has the ball temporarily here. Richard sending a ball up to the top there toward Hoder. It's uh, touched away by the chip defender. Goes over to number 19, that's Andrea Sahoski, who sends the ball to the midfield there. And uh, going again, ball going back and forth. Back to Hudson now with Grace. Grace with the ball, approaching the top of the box. Oh, he runs head into the other player there. And they're calling a foul on Grace there. He must have, uh, she just trucked that girl, but to be honest, that, uh, that girl stepped up and in on her. Grace's momentum just carried through. Free kick taken by Chippewa, high ball. Sent up to their forward there, uh, Ani Lewis defending. Sydney Fashionbauer with the ball on the right flank now just uh, tries to slot a ball into the box there. It's touched out by Brinkman. It'll be a throw in for the Cardinals. No substitute here on the play. Setting in for the Cardinals, number 16, Haley Pinch. Woo! Forwards for Hudson up on top as they head east to west. There are Haynes on the far left, Helterbrand in the middle, and Montana Hoder on the right. Trying to get the ball up to Haynes there. Marley Johnston wins that ball, does get it to Haynes. Haynes with a touch on the ball. Sends it back to Johnston. Johnston trying to weave around defenders here. And Chippewa just knocks that ball out of bounds. It's going to be a Hudson throw. Annie Lewis coming from her left knee spot there. Substitution. There's Richard going on now. Producer's going to have probably the athletic trainer, Mike Renfro from Catalyst, take a look at her. There's Karen Chuckle. <laughs> Chuckle, normally playing in goal, is now a field player with the ball at her feet. That's Karen Chuckle with the shot. Montana Hoder trying to get ahead on it and can't accurately uh, get that redirected there. And the ball goes out of bounds off of the uh, head of Hoder. It's going to be a goal kick for Chippewa Falls. Yeah. 
Sam Smith takes the goal kick, gets it up and out. Montana Hoder gets the ball here on the right. Slots a nice ball for Amanda Carey. Amanda Carey trying to get around uh, uh, the defender there, number 16, for Chippewa Falls. It's in the pitch. And Pitch takes the ball out of bounds there, and it's going to be a corner kick for the Hudson Raiders. Good dribbling by Amanda Carey to manufacture a goal kick out of that effort. Number 14 is uh, junior Emma Olson, the defender, that's going to take this corner kick from the Hudson Raiders. She chips the ball to uh, teammate there, Mackenzie Drace. And Drace trying to get, get him go back to Olsen. And again, miscommunication there. And Drace just sends the ball out of bounds. And Hudson loses possession on a simple play. And that's going to drive Coach Knutson crazy. Amanda Carey with the ball now. Intercepts the throw in by Chippewa. But can't team maintain possession. So Fashingbauer gains control. Hudson sends the ball out of bounds. It's going to be Chippewa's ball here on the field. Go, Red! Andrea Sahasky with the throw here and gets it in toward Fashingbauer. Mackenzie Drace uh, trying to uh, win that ball, but Fashingbauer dispossesses. Fashingbauer sends the ball up. A little bit of miscommunication here. Sarah Oliver, holy smokes. Uh, empty goal there as McKenna Olson came all the way over to the left side for some reason, and uh, that could have been an extremely dangerous play. Chippewa Falls with the throw in here. Chippewa's got a goal already, so it's three to yes, one yes. Hudson. Yes. And the ball, oh. the ball is bouncing all across the goal face there. And uh, Knutson's Red, probably questioning his decision to let Chuckle play the field and put in the freshman goalkeeper as a backup here, uh, who's been under a little bit of pressure. <laughs> Taylor Brinkman's going to take the goal kick here for the Raiders. It's that every day. And does, but it's uh, possessions maintained by Chip. Kenzie <laughs> Grace currently with the ball, dribbling upfield, tries to uh, get a ball up to Hoder. Hoder doesn't get a touch on it there. Helterbrand coming in on uh, 14 there, uh, Chaz Annals, and for Chippewa Falls, Helterbrand had a shot to create some excitement there. Ball goes out of bounds off Hudson, and uh, oh, they're calling a foul there. Been a little bit of a bump, didn't see it, but that was the call, and Chippewa Falls is going to take the free kick from the spot of the foul. Sam Smith sends the ball up. Karen Chuckle gets a touch, gets it to Helterbrand, Helterbrand over to Hoder. Hoder can't maintain possession there. Nice ball, Andy. Good job, Andy. Bengston with the ball. Emma Olsen gets a touch and redirects, turns it around. Soward with the ball now for Chip. Soward sends the ball to the upper right forward there. Sarah Oliver has the ball out against Donnie Lewis. Oliver with a left footed shot to the top of the penalty box there. Emma Olson wins that ball. Emma sends the ball out to Amanda Carey. Carey dribbles the ball up the right channel there. Carey tries to send a ball to Hoder and does. Beautiful ball sent to Hoder. Hoder can't quite uh, maintain possession there and gets dispossessed. Carey, Attempted to win the ball back there, but the ball went out of bounds. Sahasky will be taking the throw for the Cardinals. Number seven, Michaela B. And subbing in for the Raiders, number 10, Emma Richards. Substitutions coming on and off the field again. Going back and forth, Helterbrand from Hudson with the ball in the top of the top of the offensive line. They're trying to get it to Haynes. Haynes trying to weave through two or three players. Can't quite do it. Chippewa sends the ball out of bounds. Karen Chuckle with the ball evades one player. Tries to get the ball to Marley Johnson. Johnson can't maintain possession. Drace has the ball in the center midfield now. Drace sends the ball out toward Amanda Carey. A little too high, a little too hard, and the ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be a throw-in for the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Emma 
Richard trying to win that ball. Uh, knocking him around a little bit there and gets a foul call on her again. I think that's her fourth or fifth foul of the game. Ball's chipped up by Chippewa there, headed up by uh, Marley Johnston, headed by Chippewa. Good uh, chest trap by Marley Johnston there, number eight. Johnson trying to maintain possession. Chippewa with the ball there, gets it over toward Grace. Grace working on Bashing Bauer. Bashing Bauer gets the ball up and away. Chuckle with a header, gets it down to the body. Chuckle gets bounced there a little bit by Chip, and I think they called the foul there on uh, number seven, and they did. Uh, so that's a foul on Michaela Beebe against Chuckle. Oh, that's and that's take the free kick here, and you can see how tough Fashing Bauer is. She just puts her back less than 10 yards away uh, from the ball there. Uh, ball gets up and bounces into Sam Smith's hands there for the Cardinals, and she's going to punt it away. Uh, marginal punt there, not much length. Number 16 for the Cardinals is Haley Pinch gets a touch on the ball. Ball comes up, uh, touched away by Michaela Olson to Emma Olson. Good job, Haley. Good there. Olson trying to get the ball up the sideline and does toward Terry. Terry trying to win the ball back. Goes backwards to Emma Olson and Taylor Good job, Andy. the Cardinal uh, defender, and that's going to be a Hudson goal kick. Good job, Andy. Subbing in for Chippewa, number five, Emma Bresnia. <laughs> Taking the goal kick for the Raiders, Zim Olsen, Jr. with McKinnon. the goal there for the Raiders. Bashing Bauer knocks the ball down, sends it back in. Emma Olsen heads it out. Marley Johnson sends it over to Amanda Carey on the right side there. Carey trying to throw the channel. Nice job of dribbling by Amanda Carey. Looking for somebody to go to. She passes it back to Emma Olson. Emma Olson turns. Gets the ball out to Mackenzie Drace, number 11. Drace gets a nice touch. Goes up the right channel there. Keeping the ball inbounds. Good run by Drace. Drace trying to chip that ball up and in, but closed off all its space. And didn't have to chip that ball up and in. Let's see what they called here. Another phantom call. Jankowitz giving that ball to Chippewa. Chippewa's going to take the free kick here. That's number 14, Chaz Ann Olson, ready to take the kick. And does. Johnson tries to get a touch, can't get there. McKenna Olson gets a slow roller right to her. Good stop by McKenna Olson on that ball. And she's going to punt this ball away. Good job, Haley. Cardinals still with possession, try to send it up to their right side, but Ani Lewis, the left defender for the Raiders, is there. The Cardinals had an opportunity to send the ball in there, and they do, and uh, McKenna Olson is there. Get this, the ball out to Amanda Carey. Carey trying to control the ball on the right side. Ball goes out of bounds. Carey does a quick start, throws the ball up the right uh, flank there. Emma Richard gets the shoulder into the girl there, and they're going to call that again. Uh, I believe is the sixth foul on Emma Richard today. And that girl knocks it into Emma. Emma's taking two balls to the head today. Wow. Marley Johnson sends the ball up to the left side there to Maddie Haynes. Haynes gets around the side. Oh. Haynes, Haynes crosses the ball. It goes all the way between the goalkeeper and two of Hudson's forward players there. Uh, both Emma Richard on the right and uh, let's see who the other forward for Hudson was there. Right in the middle of the action, but uh, couldn't be on the backside enough to get that ball in by Haynes. Beautiful served ball by Haynes. It was Heltebrand, Captain Heltebrand in the middle and Richard on the right side. There's the two forwards for Hudson. Nobody available on the back side for that last service. Grace with the ball. Good move by Grace to get around that last defender. Soward, oh, Soward uh, pushes her hard. That should, 
That should be a foul and a free kick there. Instead, they just give a throw, but Carey throws it into the box. It's headed out. Touched by uh, Marley Johnson there, but not much on that shot, and goalkeeper Sam Smith collects the ball and puts it back into play. Hudson Raiders up three to one here on the Chippewa Falls Cardinals, but they're giving Chippewa Falls a little bit of hope here, which is not good. Chippewa Falls getting the ball into the attacking third area there, knocks it back to the midfield. Sarah Oliver with a high ball. Three to two at the 61-40 mark of the second half. So here we are about uh, 16 minutes into the second half and the Chippewa Falls Cardinals believe that they're in this game. Uh, Hudson's only up by one goal now. Hudson, uh, Hudson needs to shut this thing down. We'll see if Knudsen brings Car uh, and Chuckle back into goal for the Raiders there. Now the ball's in the attacking third again, and Hudson's got to clear that ball out. Marley Johnson with the ball now, gets it out to Amanda Carey. Carey with a little bit of space. Carey sends the ball up to right flank, trying to get it to Emma Richard there. Richard battling away with uh, Chaz Ann Olsen there. Ball goes off of Richard, out of bounds. Nice job, Chaz! Either said or did something there. You can see the referee on, pointing. Uh, you can see, uh, very clearly says, gave an elbow there to Chaz Ann Olson, and Ann said something to her, you can kind of tell. Uh, Richard's having a little bit of a cantankerous game here today, folks, with about six or seven fouls and uh, uh, taking two balls to the head. Maddie Haynes with the ball near the top of the box for the Hudson Raiders, trying to get, uh, get into three defenders and uh, rarely gonna win that battle. Ball goes out of bounds. Karn, well, let's see what they called here, folks. <laughs> Me, uh, Haynes committed a foul in the back there. I think that was a frustration call there. Haynes must have gave a little uh, shove there, and Chippewa Falls is going to take the free kick from the spot of the foul. with a smart play, let the ball just roll out of bounds so she can take that throw, gets it up and into Amanda Carey. Carey chips the ball up and in toward Marley Johnson, can't quite get there. Heltebrand trying to get a left foot. There's a handball, not called. You can see uh, Jankowitz not wanting to blow her whistle on that for some reason. Karen Chuckle on the left side now. Chuckle crosses the ball in, trying to get it to Heltebrand. Heltebrand stops before the goalkeeper there. And uh, Sam Smith, uh, Ends up winning that ball and kicking it out. Brinkman sends the ball back in for the Raiders. Good job. Come on, Rod. Chuckle with the ball again. Long, lofted ball on the right foot, trying to get it to Emma Richard there. Richard battling with the Chippewa Fall defender who just knocks that thing out of bounds. That's number five. Uh, Emma Brazina for the Chippewa Falls Cardinals now playing uh, in the back line there against Emma Richard. Amanda Carey, number three, readies uh, for the throw in here. And again, pretty common knowledge, she's got a deep throw. Uh, Emma should, Emma Olson, I'm sorry, Emma Richard, number 10, should be deep in the box there. Um, and for some reason, they're just not. Ball goes out of bounds off of Chippewa here. It's gonna be a uh, throw in again by Amanda Carey. Trying to get it to Heltebrand, can't quite get it that deep. Ball goes out of bounds off of Chippewa. It's gonna be a Hudson throw in. Third in a row here for Carey. You think Hudson could make some hay on one of these. Carey throws the ball up and into the box here. Tries to get it towards Johnston. Ball comes down, Richard's trying to get a touch. And does, Richard with the ball right now, trying to cut the ball back. Cuts it back hard to her right there toward Amanda Carey. Uh, Marley Johnson has the ball now. Johnson dribbling with the ball, gets around the right edge. Gets around and uh, turns the ball over. Brazina from Chippewa has the ball here. Marley uh, Johnson, good job getting the ball across the goal there. And 
out of the box and uh, Heltebrand had a golden opportunity to score there couldn't uh, couldn't quite get it in there so here the Raiders are with uh, Emma Richard with a corner kick and let's see what the Hudson Raiders can do with this one Richard sends the ball up and in headed off the Hudson uh, player and they're going to call a handball there I believe and that's going to be a PK for the Hudson Raiders I didn't see who from Chippewa committed the handball here, but we're gonna give, uh, uh, Knutson will probably pick senior captain Jordan Heltebrand to take the uh, take the penalty kick here. Uh, the PK is gonna be taken by the Raiders. It, if that was a certain goal, what the call should be is a red card and a two game suspension. Um, this has happened to Hudson twice this year, where in the goal box, uh, there's been a handball, but they don't call the two-game suspension in the red card. Here's the PK with Heltebrand. Heltebrand fires a shot from the left side and into the back of the net, buries it, and Hudson at the 66 or 8 mark goes up 4-2 to two on the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. That's a little more Hudson-like there to bang that ball in and uh, get the goals up again where they belong. Four goals put up uh, against the Cardinals today to two uh, by Chippewa Falls and a uh, little a little more comfortable lead back with the Hudson Raiders. Four to two here at the 66 mark of the 90 minute game. So we've got uh, just shy of 24 minutes to go uh, left in this contest, folks. Hudson leading four to two. Chippewa Falls kicks off. Hudson regains possession here. Maddie Haynes tries to send a ball uh, up to the center toward Jordan Heltebrand. It's knocked out by the Chippewa Falls back line there. Uh, Carr and Chuckle gets a touch, turns over to Chip. Chuckle regains possession, lets the ball go out of bounds to take the throw. Ani Lewis takes the throw for the Raiders, sends it up the line there. Ani will take a throw again. Ani will take the throw again. Feels like a broken record, doesn't it? <laughs> Three throws in a row there by Ani Lewis. This one, Haynes has the ball now again, trying to weave in the midst of three defenders. Knutson stops that ball. Good first touch by Knutson. Ani takes the throw for the Raiders, gets it up to Marley Johnson. Johnson trying to get around that side. Gets fouled by Fashingbauer. Uh, it's just out of bounds. It just called a, a ball out of the touch line. Johnson takes the throw, throws it into the box, and, and for whatever reason, uh, the Hudson players are all throwing it deep into the box, and the Raiders are all at the front of the box. They, they just can't quite uh, learn from their lessons that are shown to them. Uh, Johnston and, uh, battling for the ball in the back corner there, and Chippewa Falls uh, wins possession, but Karen Chuckle dispossesses, trying to get the ball to Amber Richard. Loses it to Chip. Chip sends it upfield. Taylor Brinkman with the ball now for the Raiders. Dribbling herself, dribbling through, slots a ball. Trying to get it up to the top side there. And there's Amanda Carey on the right, but Amanda mistouches that ball. A little bit unlucky there at the end. And the ball just goes harmlessly out of bounds. Going to be a goal kick uh, for the Chip of Falls Cardinals. Let's go, Red! Sam Smith with the kick, short kick again. Goes to their nearest defender there. Hudson's Heltebrand gets a touch, Haynes gets a touch, sends it out to Karen Chuckle again. Chuckle battling with the ball with the right foot, tries to send it in, gets knocked down by Fashingbauer, sends it upfield. Taylor Brinkman knocks it back in for the Raiders up to the top line there with Heltebrand coming in on the ball. Sam Smith comes out of goal and secures it. Brinkman gets the ball out the left side there. Ani Lewis gets a right foot, sends the ball upfield. Haynes tries to get ahead on the ball. Now gets around the defender there. Haynes still maintaining possession. Left foot chips it in there toward Heltebrand. And uh, Chaz Ann Olsen's there first. There's another shot by Heltebrand into the hand of a 
Chippewa Falls player as you see the ref waving it off again. Uh, kind of a strange game with calls for this referee, but Soward for Chippewa Falls has the ball here on the counter attack. Soward tries to slot a ball up through the middle and McKenna Olsen is there and dives on the ball safely. Good job on the She decides to punt this one away. Drop short of the arc at midfield there. Chippewa sends it up with a little bit of a chip there. Chippewa trying to cross that, goes harmlessly way out of bounds on the backside there, and it's gonna be a goal kick for the Hudson Raiders. Taylor Brinkman will take the goal kick. Coming in for the Raiders, number 18, Montana Holder, and number 12, Kylo Shuey. Brinkman drives the ball toward the arc near the center line there. Hudson can't maintain possession. Chippewa knocks it back in. There's Sarah Oliver getting it back to Madeline Bengston. <coughs> Bengston sends it back to Fashingbauer. Fashingbauer dribbling with the ball. They pulled Fashingbauer back. There's Katie Woodley with a shoulder block against Fashingbauer, but since she held the ball and had possession, oh, they to continue. Went to the left side of the goal. There's going to be a goal kick by the Hudson Raiders there. That was a dangerous uh, scoring opportunity by Sydney Fashingbauer. The Cardinals there against Hudson. Emma Olson, the right back for the Hudson Raiders. Subbing in for Chippewa, kick. number 18, Isabel Spooner. Olson with the kick. Up and into Fashingbauer, touches it back for the Cardinals, and here comes the counterattack again. <laughs> Slotted a ball, but Sarah Oliver can't get with that, to get to that ball, and McKenna Olson does for the Raiders, and Punts it away, this time with her left foot. Ambidextrous punter there, ambidextrous I should say. Chippewa with the ball, uh, maintaining possession in the, in the midfield there. And Hudson uh, again, uh, playing a little bit frantic there. Chippewa puts a whack on Chuckle there, trying to cross the ball in, getting it to Oliver. Oliver heads the ball. Uh, the end line, and that's gonna be another goal kick for the Hudson Raiders that Brinkman will take. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's a bad thing when you give a team hope and momentum and Chippewa had it there for a while. And thank goodness Hudson with the uh, call of a handball in the box there, uh, got a PK that uh, Helderbrand buried for the fourth goal for the Raiders. A little bit of a separation, four to two sure helps. Chippewa takes the throw in here. Honey Lewis miss kicks uh, there. Taylor Brinkman cleans up, and sends the ball upfield. Possession temporarily with Chippewa, then Hudson. Ball's going back and forth toward Amanda Carey. Ball goes out of bounds, and they're calling that. Uh, should be Hudson ball. Olsen takes the throw, it's headed back by Chip. Olsen Soward, number 13 for Chip, trying to get the ball upfield, and there's Oliver, number nine. Karen Chuckle comes back, wins the ball, sends it up toward Montana Hoder. Headed by Marley Johnston. Ball around the left edge there, gets by Emma Olson. That's number 18, sends the ball across there. Oh, it's bobbled, bobbled by McKenna Olson. And Sarah Oliver had a golden opportunity if she was just stuck with the ball to pop that out and into the goal there. That could have been a four to three score uh, with a goal by Chippewa there, but Oliver uh, backed off when McKenna Olson. Now that should have been called as a trip there by Fashingbauer, one of the meaner kids on the Chippewa Falls team there. No call, uh, dispossessed. Katie Woodley, nice bit of footwork there to win the ball from Fashingbauer. Now Amanda Carey uh, for the Raiders. Right into number five, Emma Brazina for the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Chippewa gets the ball upfield, but gets to Emma Olsen on the right D spot for Hudson. Okay, run, run, run. Brinkman comes over on this ball, trying to win it. 
Cuts it back in toward Emma Olsen. There's Oliver on the top of the box. Again, uh, Raiders leaving the Cardinals unattended in dangerous areas there. Jordan Helterbrand trying to win this ball and does, sends it up. Hoder on the top, can't get to that ball. Chaz Ann Olsen, number 14 for Chippewa, has it, sends it out to the right flank there. Chuckle kicks the ball out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for Subbing the Subbing in for Chippewa, number 17, Hazel Bailing. Subbing in for your Hudson Raiders, number 11, Kenzie Drace. <laughs> After substitutions, throw ins taken by Chippewa. Up the right side, Ani Lewis on the left defense for Hudson touches it out. It's going to be another throw in for Chip. Chip sends a long ball up that McKenna Olsen gathers in easily. Comes up to the top of the penalty box to punt it. And just throws the ball over to Emma Olsen. Good decision by McKenna. Olsen gets the ball up to Drace. Drace trying to get the ball up to Amanda Carey, but uh, Marley Johnson runs on that. Goes out of bounds off chip. It's going to be a throw in for Hudson. Emma Olsen takes the throw. Gets it up to Drace. Drace trying to get the ball up the right channel there. Sends it back to Emma Olsen. Olsen trying to get it to Helterbrand. Can't quite get it there. Chip intercepts. Hudson regains. Sends the ball up and in, but uh, a little too far and straight. Knutson, Coach Knutson calls that sending the ball down the funnel. He'd rather have the ball sent down the channels and crossed in. <laughs> foul committed by Hudson. It's going to be a triple ball free kick here. That follows on uh, Shuey, it looked like. Soward knocks that ball out of bounds. This will be a throw in by Hudson. Subbing in for Chippewa, number seven, Michaela B. Subbing in for the Raiders, number nine, Grace Potter. <laughs> Potter getting the ball up for Hudson there. Chippewa knocks it back. Bankston with the ball, battling for Amanda Carey. Amanda Carey's going to win that battle every time. Ball goes out of bounds. Still going to be a chip will throw in here. Now they're calling a free kick. Some bounce that Carey put on Bankston. 14, Chaz Ann Olsen kicks the ball up uh, to the top of the box there. That's number seven, Michaela Beebe. Trying to get it up on top there. BB has the ball right now. Touched out of bounds by Grace. It's going to be a throw in for the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. <laughs> well, that should have been a throw in for the Cardinals. But they're giving it to Hudson. Hudson will take it. That one hip checked out of bounds there. Emma Olson will take the throw again. Headed up into the air, but Marley Johnson gets her head on it. Twice. Gets the ball to Montana Hoder. Hoder with her left foot tries to chip it over to the center to Helterbrand. Helterbrand trying to get it to Marley Johnson. Can't quite get there. Goes back to Ani Lewis. Lewis sends the ball up to uh, Haynes on the left side there. Or Shuey, I should say. Sorry. <laughs> Potter is the left mid trying to win that ball. Ball gets into the back area there. Emma Olsen, number 14 in chase. Ball does not go out of bounds till the end there, and then it does. Uh, Chip takes his throw, Ani gets a head on it out to the side. It'll be another throw for the Cardinals. Cardinals in the attacking third here. Hudson needs to clear this ball out. Lewis clears it out the Touchline on the side there. It'll just be a throw in for the Cardinals. No harm, no foul. Throw in by the Cardinals. Trying to go to Oliver. 
Ball goes out the back line there, and they're uh, saying that's off of Hudson. That's going to be given a corner to the Chippewa Falls Cardinals again. <laughs> Chippewa ready to take the corner here. They lift the ball up into the top of the box area there. Ball's bouncing around, and boy, McKenna, the goalkeeper's got to be hollering for that. Chewy with the ball on the outside now, trying to uh, get the ball upfield, and she sends it out of bounds. That's going to be a throw in for the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Not a lot of time left in this game, folks. Hudson trying to wrap this up with a 4 to 2 lead, and Chippewa trying to get back in it uh, to get a goal or two to tighten the gap here. Grace Potter with the ball in the back third there, turn it to the outside, Gracie. And the ball goes to the outside, but it's turned over to Chip. They're going to take the throw in. And they call it a throw in for the Chip of Falls Cardinals there. Another opportunity for the Cardinals. Actually calling a free kick. I don't know what they called there, folks. Free kick for the Cardinals in a dangerous spot on the side of the goal there. Ball's chipped up and into the box area there. Grace Potter gets a touch on it, trying to get it out. Chippewa comes in. Sends the ball to Michaela Olson, the goalkeeper for the Hudson Raiders. Michaela, a young freshman JV goalkeeper, uh, starting the second half here for the Hudson Raiders. And they scored uh, two fairly quick goals on McKenna in the start of the second half here. Tightened the game up to three to two, but the Hudson Raiders came on with a handball and a PK uh, against Chippewa uh, in the second half here and now lead four to two. Throw in by Mackenzie Drace, number 11. She's going to drop the ball and give it to Emma Olson. Emma Olson, number 14, with the throw in for the Hudson Raiders. Subbing in for Chippewa, number 16, Haley Pinch. Subbing in for the Raiders, number one, Karen Chuckle. And number 16, Maddie Haynes. Good job. Ball going back and forth with possession. Again, neither team uh, doing a very good job maintaining possession here. Hudson putting some pressure on the Chippewa defenders there with Carr and Chuckle up on top right now. Number one there, starting goalkeeper for the Raiders this year. Uh, Carr and started since her uh, about four or five games into her freshman year. She started for the Hudson Raiders under Coach Knutson. It's been there ever since. Amanda Carey with the throw in again. Raiders should get deeper into the box because that's where the ball goes. Marley gets a header there. Helterbrand gets a shot, puts it on her left foot. Oh, gets tripped in the box. There's no call on the play. Helterbrand get at, gets absolutely tripped in the box there. And uh, Jankowitz, uh, center ref, doesn't know what to call. Ball goes out of bounds off Chippewa. It's going to be a throw in for the Hudson Raiders. That, uh, that should have been a second PK of the game. Uh, I don't, don't know what Jankowitz uh, was watching. Helterbrand finally getting up now from... Uh, getting tripped in the ankle there. Uh, don't blame her for walking back on that one. Uh, she was tripped in the box and no call was made. No uh, no free kick, no definitely no penalty kick. Here's Chuckle back in the box. Uh, Chuckle still maintains possession there. Tries to get the ball to carry. Ball gets knocked out of bounds by Chippewa Falls. It'll be a throw in for the Raiders in the goal box area again for Chippewa. So let's see if Hudson can get a positive outcome on one of these throw-ins by Carey. She's got one of the best throw-ins on the team for the depth of her throw, and Hudson has done virtually nothing with her throw-ins today. Look at the ball, deep into the box here. It's uh, headed by Emma Olson. Ball goes out of bounds off of Hudson. It's gonna be a goal kick for Chippewa. Hudson's really having a hard time uh, maintaining consistent possession of the ball right now. And Smith kicks the ball out. Drace gets a shoulder on it, goes out of bounds. It's going to be a Chippewa Falls throw in. Nice. 
Oliver gets the ball up to Fashingbauer. Fashingbauer trying to get the ball over to Bankston. Bankston, uh, good job of switching the fields for the Cardinals there. They get the ball upfield. Badani Lewis is there. Chippewa does get a shot up. Right at the goal post there. Right the 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 a beautiful combination. Series of play uh, by Chippewa Falls trying to switch fields there, and they do it quite effectively. Taylor Brinkman uh, with the free kick here. Haynes putting pressure up on top, does get possession of the ball there. Grace Potter now with the ball. Cut by Grace to come back. Grace trying to get a ball into the uh, penalty box area there and does. Marley Johnston with the ball. Shot right to goalkeeper Sam Smith. Uh, Marley Johnston with a great effort. Uh, good, uh, good hard work for Marley to be able to manufacture a shot in the goal box. Emma Olson with the ball now. Hudson can't maintain possession. Chippewa regains control. Sarah Oliver back to Sydney Fashingbauer. Fashingbauer number eight with the ball. Here comes Chippewa on the attack. Fashingbauer still with the ball. Amanda Carey comes back to win that. Nice job by Amanda Carey. Nice 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 Chuckle with an opportunity here. Chuckle touches it to the right side, tries to cross it back in. And there it is. That's a great opportunity. It was a beautiful cross by Karen Chuckle to Marley Johnson there. And Johnson with a body or a thigh and just knocked the ball to the right of the goal. Johnston looked a little upset with that one, but that was a tremendous effort by Johnston to uh, get a body on the ball. Good cross by Chuckle and uh, a good play by Marley Johnston, the young freshman. Sam Smith gonna take the goal kick here. Maybe because they turned it around really. Hudson on the top of the box with Haynes trying to win the ball in the top of the penalty box area. Evades two players, tries to get a right foot shot off. It's blocked by Chippewa. Chippewa tries to get it out of the area there and does. Ani Lewis gets a touch temporarily. Ball gets sent up uh, towards Sarah Oliver. Brinkman's there. And Brinkman collides. Brinkman, oh Brinkman collides with number 18, Isabel Spooner. They call the... Uh, they call the foul on Brinkman there. Spooner steps up and takes a quick start there, just knocks the ball out of bounds. Uh, I'm not sure what they're calling here, folks. It, Spooner just stepped up, kicked the ball out of bounds, but you take it as a goal kick, not as a free kick there. I, I can't tell you what happened, folks. Uh, Chippewa, Jankowicz is having a tough, tough day at the center rough position today. Chippewa maintaining possession with the ball here. Soward with the ball, tries to cross fields, gets it up to Sarah Oliver on the right side there. Oliver oversteps on the ball there. Ty Huber back in the game as the left midfielder for Hudson, battling with her over there. Uh, Ani Lewis in the back corner for Hudson has the ball and uh, gets it up the side there to Tyler Huber. Huber trying to evade the player and does. Bangs it off her shins and out of bounds. It's gonna be a throw in for the Raiders. Johnny Lewis, number 25, taking the throw in for Hudson. Ball goes out of bounds off two Chippewa players. It's going to be Hudson's throw in from about 20 yards further west. Johnny Lewis with this throw again. Johnny Lewis getting some good depth on her throws as the season's gone on and look for more in years to come from her. She's going to be an absolutely stellar all-conference first team player in the next couple of years. Ani with the throw in again. That ball gets thrown in, just goes out of bounds, so they're gonna give the throw to Chippewa. Now they're, <laughs> they're giving that to Hudson once it went off. Chippewa must have touched it. Haynes on the left side there, chips the ball in, it hits the head of the Chippewa Falls player, goes out of bounds, it should be a corner for Hudson, and it is, you can see Emma Richard, number 10, the junior. Uh, midfielder and forward for Hudson running for that ball to take the corner. Let's see one more here out of Hudson near the end of the game. That would be great. Richard getting ready to serve the ball in. Chips the ball into the goal box area there. It's punched out by goalkeeper Sam Smith, headed by Fashingbauer. 
Ty Huber tries to get a touch in. Carr and Chuckle runs on the ball. Gets the ball stopped there. Ball goes out of bounds off Chip. Carr and Chuckle with a quick start with the throw. Good throw in by Chuckle. A thigh got put on it by Chip with defender and knocks it, uh, knocks it out. Trying to get it up top of the field there, but Brinkman steps up uh, like she usually does. Bangs it off the shins of the Chippewa player. And that'll be a Hudson throw in. Come on, White. Come on, White. Emma Olsen, number 14, taking the throw for the Raiders. Carey kicks this ball out of bounds. And ladies and gentlemen, at the 90 minute uh, of the game, the game is over. Chippewa Falls, uh, two goals, Hudson four. Hudson Raiders win this game over Chippewa Falls. And the uh, Hudson record is now 10-3-1 on the year, 8-2-1 in the conference. And uh, Hudson's going to be looking forward to the playoffs with this win. They more than likely will play Chippewa Falls again in the first round of the regional playoffs of the WIAA state championship. And uh, good effort by the Hudson Raiders to win four to two. Again, the Raiders end the Big Rivers Conference with an eight, two and one record. Uh, the non-conference is two, one and one for an overall record of 10, three and one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Knute Johnson signing off for the Hudson Raiders.